hello good day and welcome to my channel now the question here says find the value of angle b below now for us to find the value of angle b we are going to be applying two theorems here two theorems that will help us to find the angle b now the first theorem i'm going to write it down i'm going to write the two theorems down the first theorem is that opposite angles opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral are supplementary are supplementary so this is the first theorem that are going to we are going to be applying that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary and then the second theorem that we are going to apply to solve this problem is that angles let me number these as theorem one and then let me write theorem two the second is that angles in alternate segments angles in alternate segment are equal so this is the second theorem that we are going to be applying that angles in alternate segment are equal now let's go back to the diagram so that we can see how we're going to apply these two theorems now looking at the diagram here you agree with me that this total angle here is 85 degrees so permit me to put the full angle here as 45 plus 40 that will give us 85 degree so the total angle here is 85 degree now if you look at this cyclic quadrilateral that is a quadrilateral that is inside a circle now in this cyclic quadrilateral this angle and the total of this angle here they are opposite angles and from that theorem opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary supplementary means they add up to give 180 so 85 plus the total angle here should give us 180 so for me to get this remaining part i'm going to say 180 minus 85 so 180 minus 85 and that will be equal to 95 so that means this angle here the total of this angle here is equal to okay let me put it here too the total of this angle here is 95 degrees so you can see now the opposite angles add up to 180 so 95 plus 180 and plus 85 will give us 180 degrees now the second theorem we are going to apply here is the theorem that states that angles in alternate segments are equal so this is a chord and this is a tangent a tangent it's a it's an external line that touches a circle so this is a tangent and this is a chord the angle between this chord and this tangent on this side is 65 degree then the angle that this same chord makes inside this triangle don't forget this triangle now the angle that this same chord makes inside this triangle is going to be also this 65 degree that is the term that says that angle in alternate segments are equal so this segment and this alternate part here add up to i mean they are equal so if this is 65 this portion is also 65 degrees so this place here now that is this portion inside this triangle is 65 degree and the whole here is 95 degree so you agree with me that 65 plus b should be equal to the full angle here 95 degrees so i'm going to write it down here 65 degree plus the angle b should be equal to 95 
that is this full this full angle here is 65 here and b here that gives us 95 so for us to get b we are simply going to say b is equal to 95 minus 65 and that will give us the value of b as 30 degree and that is our final answer so please subscribe to this channel so that you can get more detailed videos like this thank you for watching and see you in the next video